If you are a gamer or casual PC user, you must have heard these graphics card terms like RTX, Nvidia, or AMD, and you might be wondering what they are or which one is best for you. Well, that's what we're seeing today in this quick video. So first, what even is a graphics card? A graphics card, also called a GPU, is the part of your computer that handles visuals. It's what turns all the data into the images and frames you see on screen, and the stronger the GPU. The smoother and better your games look. The two main companies that make GPS are NVIDIA and AMD. NVIDIA makes the popular RTX series, while AMD makes the RX line. Now, when you hear RTX, that's short for real-time ray tracing. It's a special technology that makes lighting, reflections, and shadows in games look much more realistic. On top of that, NVIDIA also uses something called DLSS, which is basically AI that boosts your FPS while keeping the graphics sharp. AMD has their own version called FSR, which does a similar thing. NVIDIA releases graphics cards in generations or series. You might have heard of the 20 series, the 30 series, also the 40 series, and now the 50 series is starting to roll out. Usually, the higher the series, the newer the technology, and the better the performance. For example, an RTX 4060 is newer and more efficient than an RTX 3060. IMD does the same with names like RX 6600 and RX 7700 XT. There's also Intel, which recently entered the GPU market with their ARC series, but right now, NVIDIA and AMD are still the main players. Quick pause. If you like this type of videos and also product reviews, click on the subscribe button. I post videos twice a week, plus latest news as they drop. Now, let's get back to the video. Now, the big question, which graphics card is actually good for gaming? And the answer to that is, it really depends on your budget and the resolution you play at. If you're gaming at 1080 pixel on a budget, something like the NVIDIA RTX 3050 or AMD RX 6600 is enough for smooth gameplay. These can handle titles like Fortnite, Valorant, Apex Legends, or GTAV at high settings without a problem. If you're playing for k with ultra settings, you'll want high-end cards like the RTX 4080 Super or AMD RX 7900 XTX. These are perfect for graphically heavy games like Hogwarts Legacy, Red Dead Redemption 2, and Microsoft Flight Simulator. And finally, if you want the absolute best with no compromise, Nvidia's new RTX 5090 is the beast. It can crush any modern game, whether it's Starfield, Alan Wake 2, or Cyberpunk 2077 with full ray tracing at 4000 with max settings, but it's extremely expensive and honestly overkill unless you want the very top performance. So, if you're playing on a 1080 pixel monitor, even a mid-range card will do wonders. But if you're chasing for K Ultra performance, that's when you go for the higher end models. At the end of the day, think about your budget, the monitor you use, and the type of games you play. That's what really decides which graphics card is right for you. Very well, now you know about GPU, but there is also one thing you need to know about. Intel processors. Click on this video to find out. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing. Which GPU are you currently using? Or which one do you recommend? Let us know in the comments.